Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to, uh, I guess this can still be called morning coffee. Um, I am currently sitting in my backyard, just kind of taking in the scenery. It's a really beautiful morning uh, and I've got the kids with me. There's Orion. Jinx went Jinx went somewhere. There's Bet Betty, my car. <laughs> but um, we're just sitting out here today enjoying this beautiful morning. Um, if you're new to me, if you're new to my channel, then you probably don't know that I currently live in Puerto Rico. And I've been here for a year now. And it's been a really beautiful experience. It's been an, inc an incredibly eye-opening experience. Uh, but it's been beautiful nonetheless, and I feel very blessed and very lucky to have been able to live in this beautiful area. The island is beautiful anyway, but just my, I like to call it my jungle hideaway. <laughs> so this is where I've been for the last year. So, um, so what's going on today? Well, I, I got up this morning. Um, and I'm feeling pretty tired, uh, and please excuse me because I'm having allergy issues. Hold on. <laughs> That's better. Um, well, before we go any further, let me say to those of you that are wondering, I'm not doing a card reading today in this session, um, uh, and I'm going to get into why. So this is going to be a little bit of a talking head story time type of situation. No real cards. Uh, well, no, no actual cards, but there is a message. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, but anyway, so, so there's not going to be like any timestamps or anything like that. This is just, this is pretty much a channeled message for the collective for the day. Uh, and again, this is just as timeless as everything else, right? So whenever you're watching this reading, whenever you're, or this video, whenever you're guided to, then there's most likely a message in it for you. So just stick through it as much as you can to get the full effect, yeah? Okay, so this morning I woke up a little bit later than normal. I did go to bed much later than normal last night, um, but yesterday after I finished morning coffee, I had plans to do some readings, you know, to keep my, keep my workflow going. But I was so tired, you guys, like it, like so tired. And, um, so I decided to take the day to just rest and I needed it. Trust and believe I needed it, y'all. I came out here eventually, um, and laid down in my hammock here under this cacao tree. <gasps> Wait, you guys look. So this is all nature. It's beautiful here, but this is a cacao tree. Um, this is literally the type of tree that they make chocolate out of. So you see all these pods here. That green and purple one, that's a new pod. That's not ready yet. But these yellow ones here, uh, many of these can actually be harvested and turned into chocolate. Which I love. Um, and that was one of... Ooh, sorry guys, hold on a second. Ugh. That was one of the selling points here for me. Um, when I moved here... I was I moved from Brooklyn to Puerto Rico um, and I wanted to get out of the city and I wanted to be surrounded by nature and I wanted to have my own space and just be able to connect with nature and this is what I've got <laughs> I've literally I literally get to sit in a hammock under a cacao tree and just and just soak in all the nature so it's just so beautiful but yesterday I decided to rest to take the day off um, and just be and allow myself to enjoy. And so I came out and I sat in my hammock here underneath the cacao tree and slept. Like, like I literally just, I laid here and just been, I was just in a meditative state and I noticed, you know, when like you try to meditate, but you're like really super tired and you just fall yourself, feel yourself falling to falling asleep. That's what happened yesterday. And so that for me was a sign. I was like, wow, okay, I really did need to rest. And so as I went throughout my day yesterday, I was like, okay, you know what? I don't really have to do anything right now. Let me just take this time to rest and 
bring some extra balance into my life because I've been very much working very hard and focused on, you know, upgrading the channel and, and, you know, stepping my game up and all that stuff and really trying to figure out how I fit into this realm of being a reader and an energy worker for people and a channel, a channeler for people. And that's working well, make definitely making progress. But right now this is a time for me to rest. And so yesterday I was like, okay, I'm going to take all of today and then we'll take most of tomorrow, which is today actually. Um, because I am planning on going live for happy hour tonight. And when I do that, I like to, you know, take the most of my day to allow me to cultivate the energies, keep my energy up. I don't really try to do a lot of readings on the days of happy hour because that can technically be, you know, it possibly could be 10 readings in a row, like back to back to back. And that takes a lot of energy out of us. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to chill. All right. So because I rested so much yesterday, I ended up not going to sleep until late last night, close to midnight. But I still got up, you know, I woke up a little later than normal today. I didn't really wake up until like 5.30, kind of rolled out of bed around 6-ish, and which some of you are like, that's not late. That's pretty early. But for me, that's a little, that's a little on the late side, <laughs> but it's okay. I need the rest. So anyway... Um, I was getting my stuff together, getting my shit together this morning and sat down at the table to start morning coffee. And I kept feeling myself come forward and saying, Eric, this is not necessary right now. And I can feel it when, you know, I'm really connected to the connect uh, to the collective. There's really a message that needs to come through. And, you know, I sit down and I do the reading and it just flows naturally. But over the last two days, Monday and Tuesday, it kind of felt like the energy was dwindling a little bit. <clears throat> and it was, by the time I reached this morning, I got to the point where I was officially feeling like and saying to myself, ooh, maybe I should pull back a little bit and let the energies regenerate a little bit more before I dive back into morning coffee. So in that moment, I was sitting there trying to figure out if I really wanted to do morning coffee or if I really should take a break from it at least for the moment I'm not like stopping it for an extended amount of time it just I just need to recharge a little bit or the energies need to refresh a little bit before we dive back into that situation and this is a this is a um a battle that I've been having with myself for a long time because you know, we all had we all have to make money and, you know, we all have bills to pay and we all have shit to handle and shit to do and blah, blah, blah. And so when spirit comes forward to me and says, Eric, we need you to stop for right now, my ego flares up and it's like, well, what do you mean we need to stop? Like, I can't I, I mean, like, I can't stop paying my bills, spirit. Like, what the fuck? And they're like, no, Eric, seriously, just take a break, take a break for a moment. Rest, relax, regenerate, recuperate. And so finally, I, I agreed this morning to say, okay, I'm not going to do a card reading. However, a message did come through that I definitely want to share with you guys. And it's right along lines with what's going on right now. So what the, the deciding factor that really helped me settle into this moment of compromise, right? Compromise because between me and spirit, because spirit was like, they know, we know you're going to do happy hour tonight. Right, Eric? And I was like, yeah, that's the plan. And they're like, okay, great. So rest. You need to rest right now. Take this moment. Enjoy yourself. Do something other than read cards. Go play some video games or go work on writing some music or just sit there and watch TV if you want or sit in the hammock and stare off into the cacao tree or stare off into space if you want. I don't care. But do something other than read cards right now. And it's interesting, you guys, because like I said, I've been working very hard lately in revamping and getting things going and, and stepping my game up and all that. But I have been seeing 222 a lot. And on Monday, <clears throat> it really came to a head because Mondays tend to be my adulting day. So like I'll, you know, I'll do morning coffee, but then I tend not to schedule any private readings or anything else. Um because I, I use Monday to do things like go get groceries or, you know, um, uh, you know, just, just adult do the, run the errands that I need to run for the week. Um, hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to move to a different spot because the, the sun is starting to blind me. Hold on a second. Okay. That's a bit better. 
you guys will probably recognize this spot. This is where I come um, to record a lot of things. Like when I did the, the last pick a card reading, um, the intro, the intro was out here. So this is further deeper into my backyard. Um, so if we go up that way, that goes back towards the house. Anyway, so back to what we're talking about here. Um, so the deciding factor for me to really take this time to rest was the fact that I was sitting at the table, uh, you know, trying to will myself into doing morning coffee and a honeybee came at my window. And that's not so strange. Um, this time of year, there are a lot of things that are in bloom that the honeybees pollinate. And actually, it was this time last year when I moved here. I moved here in June of last year, so we just hit a year, right? And this, there is a tree up by the house that had this, that was in bloom. And for the first like month or two, there was this hive of bees that every day would come out and pollinate that that tree and it was a gorgeous gorgeous thing right so it's not out of the ordinary like it's not unusual for me to see bees at this time but they very rarely um interact with me like unless i'm sitting underneath a tree and i notice that they're pollinating something i don't know they're around and so it was slightly unusual for at that moment the honeybee to come buzzing at my window and it was trying to get in but um, the screen was in the way, it was in the way, so you couldn't actually get into the apartment. So I noticed that I was like, oh, honeybees. Oh, that's a sign. Because I was literally sitting there trying to will myself or trying to force myself to get into the vibration or get into the mode for the collective to do the, to do morning coffee. But instead, the honeybee brought me a message and I want to convey that message to you guys. And this actually does coincide with what we experienced with the last full moon and this whole last moon cycle that we had been talking about from May into June. And that was a time of making great change in our lives, right? And putting new things into practice. And for a lot, and as far as what we've been, <laughs> sorry, the cats like to follow me out here and now they're running around and playing. Anyway, um, Especially with what had, whoa, especially with what there are things falling from trees. Oh, that was a mango. The mangoes are, are, um, are ripe right now. Anyway, with what I've been discussing, what has been coming through for the collective in morning coffee over the last week and a half, well, since last week and everything, since we had this full moon energy, there has been a lot of change that's been happening and been putting, we've been putting a lot of things into practice and, and shifting and changing our lives. Oh, lording now. Look at that. Stop fighting with your brother, Jinx. Don't beat him up, please. Be nice. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of change that's been happening, but a lot of implementation. <clears throat> and at this point, what we need to do is take a, te take a step back and take stock. Take stock on what it is you've been experiencing, how it is you've changed, how it is you've grown. Look at what it is that you've put into, your, into place in your life and recognize the work that you've done, recognize what it is you've accomplished thus far, and kind of regroup and take stock. And the specific message that came through the honeybee was, you know, bees work very, very hard. They're very diligent, they're loyal, you know, they they are, I mean, like if there's any superhero on this planet, honeybees would definitely be one of them. You know, we would not be able to survive. We would not have food to eat. We would not have plants and foliage to, to experience and enjoy if in large part it weren't for the honeybee. So like their work ethic is not, is like no contest there, right? But also the message of the honeybee is sometimes we need to just take a step back from all the hard work and learn how, and, and just take a moment to enjoy, you know, take, take a moment to stop and smell the flowers or experience the sweetness of life. And that's exactly where I am right now. And that's what I'm being inspired to do. That's what I'm being guided to do. I mean, of course, we're going to have to get back to work later. I'm doing happy hour later, but later today. But at this moment, the right thing to do is just enjoy. 
do whatever it is that you can to enjoy and to you know experience the the, the experience or recognize or um, appreciate the sweetness of life you know the your kids if you have kids your kids you know running around playing and being happy being kids your animals your pets appreciate them your garden your flowers your 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 environment your family your hobbies the things that you enjoy to do and not to say that you don't necessarily enjoy work to a certain extent but what it is that what is it that you really enjoy doing what is it that really fills you with happiness fuels your soul appreciate that always allow yourself to take time to step away from the grind and do what refreshes your soul and it's not like you won't be getting back into it it's not like i won't be getting back to it even yesterday um while i was just taking time to enjoy i felt like i wanted to do a reading you know i got into that mode where it's like yeah let's do a reading but then it was like you know what let's save that energy for later appreciate that hold on to that don't let that go but allow that energy to build a little bit more you know recharge your batteries a little bit more so that's where i am today and that's the collective message for today we've been doing a lot of work you guys i mean we've been working so hard and some of you i am feeling like some of you are saying yeah but what do i really have to show for it you have something to show for it even if it may have not may not have gotten a specific response that you your ego would have hoped for or that you were initially going for there is victory in the sense that you completed the work didn't you you got it done didn't you you ha you literally have something to show for it whether you've produced the physical product or you've taken a certain action that you know you've been hesitant against for the longest time or you know you've just been too afraid to do or you didn't know if it was the right thing but then one day you were just like you know what i'm fucking doing it and you did it there's something to show for right there that's a personal victory right there you should be proud of yourself appreciate that thank yourself for taking that step for making those moves for for taking that option Again, there has been so much work that we've all been doing in this collective to change our lives, to grow, to be better, to be something more than we were yesterday in a loving way, right? A self-loving way. You deserve the opportunity, the chance to take a break, to just sit back and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Enjoy where you find yourself in this moment appreciate and be aware of take the time to occult to cultivate the awareness of who you were back then versus who you are now the things that you've experienced the things that you've gone through the things that you have literally fought tooth and nail to rise from you did it you're here you have risen and you continue to rise as you move forward but you don't have to rush that rise because that rise is going to happen when the time is right. So instead of me forcing myself to sit down and pull cards and do a reading, instead I decided, with the guidance of spirit, I decided to allow myself to enjoy the fruits of my labor and to enjoy how I've changed and who I am now versus who I was last week or two weeks ago or three months ago, right? We all have that. Now, look, like, I'm still sitting here recording a video, y'all. Okay, so it's, <laughs> so it's not even like it's all that different. But the vibe is different. The vibe is about cultivating awareness of who you've become. Appreciate that. Enjoy that. You, do, you deserve to appreciate that. You deserve to revel in your own sauce for a second you know what i'm saying so i guess that's it channeled message for today thank you guys so much for tuning in i love you all so 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 very much uh i hope you have a fantastic day i definitely look forward to seeing you guys for happy hour tonight um definitely make sure to tune in at least for the first part because i will be pulling cards for the collective 
and then we'll be getting into um, if anyone would like to get a, a single question reading we'll be getting into that after the channel or after the collective message session yes section okay well I'm gonna go enjoy my morning with the kitty cats in my jungle oasis I love you all so very much I hope you have a fantastic day and if I don't see you later on today for happy hour then I look forward to our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning yeah excellent take care mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>